we all love communists. Uh, I mean, dictators. I mean, people who have giant cigars. And people who almost got killed a few hundred times. Now, let me tell you about something that has all three in it. He's a communist. He's a dictator. And he loves cigars. And just to let you know, he survived every single assassination attempt that was put in his face ever since he became dictator of Cuba. Today, I'm going to be discussing the CIA's absurd attempts to assassinate Fidel Castro. Well, actually, some of them wasn't for, like, assassinating. They would just humiliate them. But anyways, let's get started. Now, Fidel Castro was your average revolutionary. He tried to steal arms, got arrested, was freed because the current dictator who has a ginormous hat says you can go by. I mean, this guy's definitely not going to, you know, like set up a communist dictatorship. Foreshadowing. And, of course, he travels to Mexico where he meets Che Guevara. And then he comes back and immediately gets arrested. But then is freed. And goes up to the mountains, builds up his army, and one day, in the capital, the president is just chilling out, you know, all that stuff, when he hears a commotion. And then he looks out the window. And then a bullet goes straight, straight through his hand, and the end for that guy. And then, just like that, our friend Castro is now in power, and this is not going to cause anyone to die. Now at this time, America's like, huh, don't worry, we're just going to get Castro to be on our side. Wait, what? He needs money? Oh, don't worry, we'll give him the money if he prote He's getting money from the communists, and he's a communist too? CIA, we need to kill this guy immediately. So they start cracking up a plan. And the first plan is pretty dumb, I have to say. But this one is immediately called off because of its stupidity. The second one is pretty well known. You see... Have you ever heard of Salmonella? Yeah, that YouTube channel. Well, they had one video discussing about how Castro loves milk. Castro loves milk. In fact, the CIA lo knows that he loves milk so much that they tried to poison his milkshake. So here's basically how it goes. Step one, hire some random guy to like sip the cyanide pill into Castro's milkshake. Step two, have the guy open up the cyanide pill and have the cyanide drip into the milkshake. Stir it up and serve it to Castro. Final step, Castro dies. But let me tell you what really happened. They did step one, of course, but when he hid it in the refrigerator and he opened it up, he saw that it had stuck to it. So he tried to pull it off and he wrote he ripped it apart. So yeah, now there was cyanide all over the ground and fridge and he was like, oh! So he called off the operation, slammed the door shut, and burned it all to the ground and served Castro a not poison milkshake. Fail! Now the CIA, obviously right now is going, oh! mode, and they think of other ways to kill Castro which includes some stuff that are really dumb. You see, another thing that Castro really enjoys is the ocean. He loves swimming, he loves collecting seashells and that stuff. So the first C plan is to fill a diving suit with tuberculosis bacteria and just get Castro to wear it and have him die of the bacteria. Uh, that's called off because they got everything correct, but they just did not know how to get a communist dictator 
to accept an obviously assassination plot from the United States CIA. So they called that one off. But then they remember another thing. Remember when I said that Castro loved collecting seashells? Well, let's be idiots again with the CIA. Time to put bombs inside of random seashells and hopefully Castro will pick it up for no reason at all. So they take a few seashells, they paint it beautiful colors that's waterproof, and then they do something dumb. They put bombs inside of it, they just scatter it all over this sea, and then they're like, hopefully, just hopefully, Will Castro pick it up and die. Uh, this does not work because, guess what, the beach that Castro goes to is private. Only his security guards and guests can go with them. So they end up scattering a few shells there, but on the final one, it falls into the sand with such force that the sand ignites the water i guess and then water comes all over it and buries it and then they're like well dang it and then the sand blows up and the entire beach becomes a ravine the end for assassination attempt two so that does not work but america is not going to give up on that and this time they're going to not kill Castro, but they're going to, they're going to vote him out of office, kind of. They planned to put a type of salt inside his shoes, and when he would put it on, it would absorb into his body, and he, Castro would lose his beard. And the CIA thought that Castro's beard was so iconic that if he lost his beard, he would be like, ah, I lost my beard, sorry, that he would be voted out of office. Uh, that did not work. Same reason why the diving suit did not work. They just did not know how to give Castro shoes that says, totally not an assassination attempt from the CIA, period, dot, dot, from the CIA, 100% an assassination attempt on it. And I hope that Castro would put it on and lose all of his facial hair. So that does not work. And they go to attempt another attempt, which is... Pretty simple, I guess. It is, he's going to Panama, put a nuclear missile, no, not a nuclear missile, but heavy explosives underneath the stage that he was gonna be speaking on. If that doesn't work, place a bomb inside of his podium, and if that doesn't work, his microphone is also gonna be a gun. And then, when they do this, if he steps on, it's going to explode. If that doesn't work, that's going to explode. If that doesn't work, he touches the microphone and a bullet comes into his mouth. Boom. That did not work for obvious reasons. They were caught red-handed on the security camera. And they were arrested. And they were terrorists. And Castro gave a speech starting with stuff that were not in his paper of what he was going to say in the speech. He basically said, if my bodyguards had not found a few million pounds of explosives underneath this, then I would have died. But they did not check the podium. And the podium did not explode because they did not put enough explosives powder in it. But then the gun, he touches it and a bullet goes ding. A failed assassination attempt again. And Castro, he lives out the rest of his life in peace, especially since the U.S. president said, stop, 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 
You're not allowed to kill random people, CIA. Now, there are many other attempts at Castro's life that I can't get into. But all I can say is that the CIA tried 638 times to kill Castro. And Castro died in 2016 of natural causes. CIA, you're good at assassinating a lot of people, but you're not good at assassinating Castro. In fact, Castro is really good at trying to make you guys look bad by surviving every single assassination attempt. So, CIA, if you were going to arrest me or put me down with a hit squad soon because you saw this video, how about you go to a different person this time? And also, Castro is not wearing a bulletproof vest as he proved on his camera on the airplane. The end!